Okay, uh, my name is Renata Marinero. I'm Director of Health Services for the Actors Fund. And I am joined by Jennifer Louisell. And I am Director of Entertainment Health Insurance Solutions, a joint program of the Actors Fund and the Motion Picture Television Fund. We are so happy to have you guys on this call today. We are talking about the new AFL-CIO Union Plus and the Medicare Advantage PPO plans. Um, we do appreciate you muting yourselves so that um, we don't get any kind of background noise. We will do the presentation first, and then at the end of the presentation, we will go over the questions that you submitted. So let's get started. We are Entertainment Health Insurance Solutions, a joint program of the Actors Fund and MPTF and the Artist Health Insurance Resource Center, which is a program of the Actors Fund. Together, we offer the entertainment and performing arts community personalized counseling and enrollment support to make sure that you understand and buy the best plan to fit your individual and your family needs. Our programs are always adapting to the shifting landscape of healthcare options. We are singularly focused on keeping members of our community healthy and capable of pursuing their chosen careers. We have a lot of different services. We have an experienced staff of licensed agents and counselors who provide unbiased, comprehensive health insurance counseling. Right now we do that counseling via Zoom or the phone because we are still remote, so we are not in our offices. Um, we can provide competitive health insurance options and enrollment assistance for medical, dental, vision, and travel health insurance plans. We do group plans, individual plans, family plans, senior plans, we can help you understand your alternatives to COBRA. We also help people enroll in Medicaid and Covered California plans, um, also known as marketplace plans. We help uh, children enroll in child health insurance, the child health insurance program. We offer educational seminars like this one, as well as Welcome to Medicare and Every Artist Insured. We do community outreach through participation in health fairs. We advocate for legislative changes that will make insurance more friendly to you and more affordable. And we also have information and practical tips on a monthly blog called Health Insurance HQ. Um, the MPTF, uh, uh, sorry, the Actors Fund and MPTF also have other programs as well that you can take advantage of. Um, both offer social services and counseling, financial assistance. Um, the Actors Fund has something called the Career Center, which helps people find meaningful sideline work. Um, there are a ton of services through both organizations for seniors, including senior care, senior living facilities, um, palliative care, veterans assistance, there are volunteer opportunities, there's affordable housing, we're always trying to develop more affordable housing um, and financial wellness programs. And in Times Square, we have a health center called the Friedman Health Center, which is just for people in the performing arts. So we have realized that people need a little bit of, um, I think, education around Medicare basics. Um, because Medicare can be confusing. So we start off these presentations with just a little bit of Medicare 101 before we get into the AFL-CIO plans. So what is Medicare? Medicare is health insurance for people 65 and over, people under 65 with certain disabilities, and people of any age with end-stage renal disease. There are different parts to Medicare. So part A is hospital inpatient insurance. Part B is medical insurance. So that means your outpatient visits, your lab work, et cetera. Parts A and B are called original Medicare. Part D stands for drugs and that's your Medicare prescription drug coverage. And then there are other things called Medigap plans or Medicare supplement plans and Medicare Advantage plans. Medicare Advantage plans are sometimes referred to as part C or Medicare health plans. You have two choices for how you get Medicare. You can choose original Medicare, which is parts A and B, plus a supplement plan and a part D plan, or you can choose a Medicare Advantage plan. And we're gonna go over those in just a second. So Medicare Advantage plans um, are insurance offered by private insurance companies and these plans replace Medicare Parts A, B, and D. 
If you join an Advantage plan, you still have Medicare, but you'll get your coverage from the Advantage plan, not from Original Medicare. Advantage plans have different rules for how you get services, like whether you can go to an out-of-network provider, certain cost sharing, et cetera. Advantage plans are by law mandated to cover all services that Original Medicare covers, and they offer sometimes extra coverage like vision, hearing, dental, um, wellness programs, et cetera. When you belong to an Advantage plan, you still have to pay your Part B premium. And like I said before, Medicare Advantage plans can charge different out-of-pocket costs, such as co-pays, premiums, and deductibles. Medicare Supplemental Insurance, also known as Medigap plans, because the supplemental insurance fills in the gaps in Medicare, covers, the, covers costs associated with original Medicare benefits. It does not offer additional benefits. There are eight federally standardized plans to choose from, and they are sold by private insurance companies. Each standardized Medigap policy has to offer the same benefits no matter which insurance company sells it. And like with Medicare Advantage plans, you still have to pay your Part B premium. Uh, now we're gonna talk about the AFL-CIO plans and I'm gonna give it over to Jennifer. All right, thank you. So the AFL-CIO plans are Medicare Advantage PPO plans. These plans are available to members of almost all entertainment unions and their spouses. So even if your spouse is not part of a union, they would still be eligible. These plans are sponsored by the AFL-CIO and Union Plus, not by the Actors Fund, the Motion Picture Television Fund, or any particular entertainment union. Because this is a group plan for union members, you can enroll at any time of the year. You do not have to wait until open enrollment. Why would you choose a group Medicare Advantage plan? Well, the objective in this AFL-CIO plan was to create a group Medicare benefit for union members who do not qualify for retiree coverage. Group drug benefits um, with coverage, they, they offer group drug benefits and coverage that is unavailable through the individual markets. They offer greater flexibility with plan design, benefits, communication, enrollment, and administration. It is a passive PPO, which offers you an arrangement that provides you the same level of benefits at any Medicare provider, whether or not they are associated with the PPO network. That is only available through group coverage. They offer nationwide availability to Medicare eligible U.S. residents and have both, that have both Medicare A and B. Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield is the largest labor health carrier nationally. They are the fastest growing retiree health plan carrier in the country, and they operate in many uh, markets under the Blue Cross Blue Shield brand. They are the largest national group Medicare Advantage PPO network with over 645,000 providers and over 4,000 hospitals. Some of the highlights are that with a national PPO, you have access in all 50 states and US territories, plus they offer additional foreign travel coverage when abroad. There's no primary care physician requirement, so you don't have to go to a primary care doctor to get a referral to see a specialist. They offer the largest national group Medicare Advantage PPO network and the ability to go out of network to Medicare providers at the same in-network benefit. Um, so if you visit an out-of-network doctor, your cost sharing is the same. They offer you zero copay Medicare preventive care and immunizations, uh, supplemental benefits, including silver sneakers, which many people enjoy. Uh, routine podiatry coverage and hearing services are included in both the value plan and premier plan. It's zero copay for virtual doctor visits and 24 hour 7, 24 seven nurse line. Um, and there's one thing to keep in mind though, there is no dental on these plans. 
some of the pharmacy highlights. Uh, pharmacy is included in both plans with coverage through the GAP. Um, they offer robust prescription formulary. There's nationwide pharmacy network with over 66,000 pharmacies, including over 28,000 preferred pharmacy networks, um, including over 5,000 independent pharmacies. So some of those smaller pharmacies, um, some of the preferred pharmacies include CVS, Costco, Dwayne Reed, Gelson's, Kroger, Rite Aid, Safeway, um, Walgreens, Walmart, and many, many more. There is no deductible on generic medications, and they have a tier that is the select generics where the prescriptions are a zero copay as well, and they do offer mail order options. So we're gonna go over the highlights. I'm gonna go over this fairly quickly. You will be able to get this if you request it, um, but I'm gonna start with the Premier PPO. So the Premier PPO offers a zero deductible. The value has a $250 yearly deductible for medical. Preventive care on both plans is a zero copay. Primary care office visits on the Premier plan would be $10 copay. On the value after you have met your deductible, it would be a $25 copay. Both plans have a $40 copay for specialist visits. Both plans offer zero copay for routine hearing services. They also both offer a $500 allowance every 12 months, and that is per year per year for hearing aids. Uh, for inpatient hospital care, you would be responsible on both plans for a $150 copay per day for days one through five. If you are in the hospital for more than five days, you no longer have a, an additional copay. So all, you're only responsible for the first five days. For labs and x-rays, both plans have a $40 copay. Complex imaging like MRIs and CT scans on the Premier plan would be a $10 copay and on the value would be a $40 copay. Emergency rooms um, would be a $75 copay on the Premier and it would be a $90 copay on the value. Those copays are waived if you are admitted to the hospital within 72 hours. Urgent care on both plans would be a $40 copay. Ambulance services on the Premier would be a $50 copay and on the value would be a $100 copay. Probably the most important part of any health insurance plan is what is called the out-of-pocket maximum. That is the most you could be resp personally responsible for, for all copays, coinsurance, and deductibles listed in this chart um, and throughout these two plans. The Premier plan has an out-of-pocket maximum of $2,750, and the value has a out-of-pocket maximum of 4,800. Both plans include silver sneakers. And then the Premier plan offers a couple of extra services like healthy meals, healthy pantry, routine transportation, 36 one-way trips per year, um, and eyewear allowance, $100 allowance every two calendar years, and a zero copay for an eye exam every year. For the prescription drug coverage on these two plans, they are also slightly different. The Premier plan has a $100 deductible for name brand drugs, and the value has a $300 deductible. Select generics on both plans are a zero copay. And as long as you go to a preferred pharmacy, both plans would offer you a zero copay for your regular generics. Preferred brand at, yeah, preferred brand at a preferred pharmacy on both plans, once you have met the deductible would be a $5 copay. On the premier plan, if you get a non-preferred brand name drug, after you've reached your deductible, you would have a $35 copay at a preferred pharmacy. On the value plan, you would be responsible for 28%. And specialty drugs on both plans, you would be responsible for 33% coinsurance, and that is after you've met your deductible. 
For the premier plan, you have full gap coverage. What that means to you is those copays that you see above will remain the same through the coverage gap until you get to catastrophic coverage. The value plan does offer you generic gap coverage. So your generic drugs would remain at the zero copay um, or $10 copay. And your brand name drugs in the coverage gap would be a 25% coinsurance. If you did reach catastrophic coverage, all generics would be a zero copay and all brand name drugs would be a $5 copay. Some of the supplemental benefits that are included um, with both plans are, of course, silver sneakers, Medi Medicare community resource support, 24 seven nurse line, live health online, Your card would look like this. So it is a group branded card that does indicate that you are on the AFL-CIO Anthem Preferred PPO. And it will include based on the plan that you are on, what your co-pays are. And all of the information on the back is for yourself and your providers to reach out to member services um, or the other support lines. The AFL-CIO Medicare Advantage plans, um, the enrollment process is very simple, but it's important that it's followed this way so that everybody who would like to enroll is able to. If you already have Medicare coverage in place, we recommend, even if you're very, very interested, that you schedule a consultation um, with one of our Medicare counselors before making any changes. Um, our first available appointments right now, because we are heading into open enrollment season, is about five to seven business days from today. If you do not already have a counselor with either um, AHERC or EHIS, please fill out the request for assistance form, and that is this link listed here. Please do not fill out another form if you've already filled one out. Um, that will only delay the process. A little bit more information is when you are signing up for a consultation, please indicate that under the describe your current situation that you are requesting help with the AFL-CIO Medicare plan. Our counselors will help you understand whether these plans are a better option or not. Uh, this type of consultation can take some time. It involves reviewing your list of medications, the doctors and providers you'd like to continue with, um, et cetera. And please have this information ready for you at your appointment time. Please note that it can take up to 10 business days from the date your enrollment application is submitted for you to be able to log into anthem.com to access your member portal, print your temporary ID cards, et cetera. For SAG after members, this is very important. If you are eligible for HRA benefits, that means that SAG is giving you a stipend every year towards your health insurance. You can use those benefits with this plan. In order to find out if you're eligible for HRA benefits, please contact the SAG health plan. And again, here is the link where you would sign up for a consultation. And I am just going to, we're gonna to get to the questions in just one second, but I'm going to stop the recording now.